Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Lee Fuge, and in this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the Hughes and Kettner Spirit of Metal. Spirit of Metal is one of the three amps from the Hughes and Kettner Spirit Nano series. I did a video on all three of these as an introductory idea over what they are, and I've also done a separate video for each of the individual heads. So if you're interested in the vintage or the rock version, please go check those videos out as well. But today we're talking about the metal version, which is the highest gain of the three. So like all of the Spirit Nano heads, this is 25 watts, but it runs 50 into a four ohm cab. And just like the other ones, the layout is exactly the same. We've got a master volume, a sag control, or sagging as it's labeled. This controls the dynamics of the power amp. So the great thing with this is even though this is an analog solid state head, the sagging control allows you to get some tube style dynamics. With the sag all the way down to zero, you get real tight response. And with the sag all the way up at full, you get this loose compressed sort of tube sag much like a cranked valve amp. We've got a single tone control and a gain control. We've also got the input on the front and the headphone out for silent practice. The headphone out also has the Hughes and Kettner red box speaker simulation built in. And on the back of the unit, exactly the same as the other ones from the Spirit Nano range. We've got a line out, which doesn't have speaker emulation, so you can run the sound of the head straight into your, you know, your audio interface into your DAW and load your own speaker IRs. Power switch, auxiliary in here for jamming with your favorite backing tracks an AES switch, which is like a cool sort of automatic power shut off switch. So if you ever forget to turn the amp off, it will switch off after 90 minutes. And we've got our speaker output. You can run anything for four to 16 ohms here. It runs at 25 watts when you put it through an eight or a 16 ohm cab, and it doubles to 50 watts when you put it through a four ohm cab. So there it is, the Spirit of Metal. And also just like the other two Spirit Nano amps, inside the amp, we've got the Spirit Tone Generator. This is also found in the bigger brother of these, the Black Spirit 200. This is a chip that Hughes and Kenner designed, which sort of brings all of the, you know, all of the dynamic and harmonic properties of a big screaming tube amp and packs it down into something this size. And these only weigh like a kilogram. So you could literally carry this with two fingers anywhere you want to go. It's super light and so loud. For this video, I'm going to be using my Jackson Adrian Smith signature model. This is like a hot rodded Strat. It's a Strat style guitar with a Floyd Rose and a humbucker in the bridge position. The amp is going through the cool amplification 1x12 cab you can see behind me there, which is a Celestian cream backloaded speaker. It's got a 65 watt version, and the amp is mic'd up with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser mic. So like I've done with all the other Spirit amps in this little video series, I've started with everything at 12 o'clock. So here's how the amp sounds at a low volume. I'm keeping this quite low because this is the metal amp. There might be a little residual noise from the gain stage, but let's see how we get on. <laughs> So straight away compared to all the other Spirit Nano amps, you can hear there's a lot more gain even just on halfway. So I'm going to try and clean this thing up now. So let's take the gain right down. Now, as I mentioned in the video for the Spirit of Rock and the Spirit of Vintage, the three controls, the master, the sagging, and the gain are all very interactive with each other. So anytime you cut or boost one of these controls, it has an impact on the overall volume of the amp. So the higher each one of them is pushed, the louder the amp is. So because I've brought the gain down, 
I'm going to bring the sag up a little bit and a little bit more mass to the volume as well. Let's see how clean we can get this thing to go. So with the humbucker, even though the gain is set super low, there's still a little break up there. Now obviously the Spirit of Metal amp isn't designed to be a clean amp, it's obviously designed to be a metal amp. So the only way I think I'm going to get this a little bit cleaner is by using a single coil pickup. So I'm going to go to the neck and middle on at the same time. So position four of like a Strat style guitar. That's about as clean as we're going to get this thing. It's not really designed to be a clean amp. I was picking quite lightly that's trying to clean up a little bit more as well. But obviously the reason anyone would be interested in the Spirit of Mel is for the gain. So let's gain it up a bit. Let's put the gain on a quarter of the way up with quite a bit of sag. <laughs> Straight away there with the gain up at a quarter of the way, we're straight into kind of an 80s rock sort of vibe. There's enough saturation there to play New Ever British Heavy Metal or most 80s rock stuff with, so if you're playing all those big 80s kind of riffs. Perfect for that kind of stuff. So let's take the gain up a little bit more, but I'm going to bring the sag down all the way actually. Let's tighten it right up. So with the sag on zero, it'll really tighten up the power amp response. Bring the gain up to halfway. <laughs> Halfway, we're getting pretty gainy here. That was very tight as well. I turn the sag up. Obviously, this is going to introduce a bit of noise because there's a lot of gain going on here. So I'm going to turn the master volume down just to compensate. The amp is so loud that I've actually only got the master probably on one, and it's still loud. So let's put the sag. Let's put it all the way up and see what happens. <laughs> sag introduces a lot of sponginess there. So now let's bring the gain down to about halfway. We'll scoop the tone out a little bit. So I'll take it down to a quarter of the way up and I'll keep the sag on about halfway as well, just so it tightens up. <laughs> So now I'm going to bring the sag all the way down, I'm going to bring the gain all the way up, put the tone at the middle, we'll go for a super high gain, very very tight metal tone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
as you push the tone control on this, the mids actually scoop out a little bit. So if you want that kind of early scooped Metallica sound, get that tone control up to around about three quarters of the way, keep the gain on about halfway. <laughs> So there you go guys, there are some tones with the Spirit of Metal by Hughes and Kettner from the Spirit Nano series. This obviously is the higher gain of the three. Please go check out my videos for the Spirit of Vintage and the Spirit of Rock. There's also an overview video on the channel of all three of them in one video where I just talk about first impressions and how they all sound straight out of the box. These amps are going to be released on the 11th of November and they're going to retail in the UK for around about the £180 mark. So they're super affordable. And like I said, they're 25 watt, but if you want to push them up to 50 watt, you've got to run it into a 4 ohm cab. They're great as a set and forget amp. So if you need one core tone and everything else you're going to do with pedals, one of these would be fantastic, especially if you've got to travel light to a gig. And also they make great backups. So if you've got a rig you love, but you need a little bit of security for that tour perhaps, or you know you never want to be without an amp for a gig, get one of these and keep it in your bag because you never know when something may go wrong on stage. You could pull this out and straight away you've got 25 watts of power. This could drive a 4x12 without any problem. It sounds great through a 1x12 and obviously through a 4x12 it's going to push that bottom end a lot more. And with a sagging control you can really nail how tight it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the spirit of metal. And if you've checked out the videos for the spirit of vintage and the spirit of rock, I'd love to know what your favorite is out of the three. They're all great amps. They all have a very unique purpose. We've got one for vintage stuff, one for classic rock, and one for the heavier metal stuff. So everyone's going to have their favorite. Let me know down below what your favorite is. I'd love to hear which of those tones stands out the most to you. And if you did enjoy the video, please go and hit that subscribe button. Your subscriptions really help this channel to keep on growing. And like I said, please go check out the other Spirit Nano videos if you haven't already done so and see which one is the right one for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.